Good morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday, May 14th. Holy Toledo. It's already it's already middle of the May, let alone just May in general. And almost June. And almost June, which means summertime's right around the corner. So. Is it though? Oh, doesn't feel like it. Oh, Leslie's walking in. She with sure coffees. is with my coffee. My coffee my and... Oh, where's oh, prom? Oh, where's Off of the river side. Ooh. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, yes. That was always so fun. Oh, hair yeah. and makeup. Yeah. All the group is it surprising out. that I didn't go and I Not just worked? All. I worked that day. I didn't go to your prom. No, ma'am. I worked. Yeah. Well, Homecoming, prom, you name it. Where did you work then? Uh, Glendale Golf Coach Club then. Oh. Yep. oh, my gosh. Yep. I have been a workaholic my entire career. So there you go. <laughs> is that fun? <laughs> Being a workaholic? <laughs> it has its perks, it has its downfalls. So. Yeah. But I, the, day. the good thing is, is I still love it. So it'd be different if I hated my job or anything, but I'm lucky enough. I love my job. So good morning, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. We were just talking about you to everyone. Oh. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning. For those that don't know, and Leslie's not on camera, but Leslie is our new food and beverage manager. And uh, she's getting ready for her meet the manager event today. And uh, Paul is giving her the down low on her team that's getting set up. So, anyways, whatever. Let's move on to the fun stuff and the reason why everybody's here. No Carmen this morning? Where's Carmen today? Sometimes she jumps on a little bit late. And Jason, I want to know why you had a limit to meet the manager. Because I'm on the wait list. I think you got moved off the wait list. Well, I didn't get an email. Well, just come on down. How about that? Just come on down. There, there I just I opened because it was at 75 because the way the way there's no limit but there was a time limit to make sure we had the right amount of food time limit to make sure we had the right amount of food Which is and a then week out. the way that we were structuring it was uh x amount of people per table at a time so that's why we had that number and then there was 10 people on the wait list and I said well I'm not going to open up another hour for 10 people so we just added yeah 10 more spots so Feel free to come on down. 11 o'clock. Oh, sorry. Now we're, sorry. Now we're too busy. <laughs> well, yeah, that happens. I will have donut holes at my station, though. I'll have lots and bagels, though, so that's better. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we do have a fun meet the manager event, and for the – uh, three folks online and the ten folks here on site. Come on down if you want. <laughs> By the time this hits YouTube, you're gonna miss it. So, <laughs> so if you're watching this recorded, don't come on down. <laughs> yeah, you may or may not be here. <laughs> um, let's dive into what we got going on for today. Uh, event review, Derby Days. Derby Days. That sounds like in small town world, Derby Days is like the town celebration. Like What's Derby Day, where do you come from? Carnation, Duval, oh, yeah, Fall City, Fall City Days, Derby Days. I mean, even Auburn does, I think, Auburn Derby Days. This was also not so, the official name of the event, it is not, <laughs> it is not. So, I was not firing on all cylinders when yeah. I made this presentation. What was the official name? Derby, Juleps, and Cat. <laughs> Our good old Kentucky Derby, which uh, I should have bet and should have bet big on the long shot, and then I would have retired because shoot, you, I wouldn't be but here today. Would you really have as a true well, workaholic? As, as a true workaholic, probably not. But you would have found something um, else to do. But it would have been fun to be rolling in money as that eighty to one long shot uh, made somebody, some people, super rich. That is for sure. So. Anyways, great event we did in Hudson. So complimentary event, which was really nice, right? We did some contests for um, uh, for best hat and uh, watch race. It was it was really fun. Just I think nice and casual. Janelle has a question. Yes, question from the internet audience. Yeah, are you sharing yeah. your screen because you? you're not sharing it to those of us at home? It shows that I'm sharing it. You don't see that? It's only you and Paula. 
You don't want to just look at us? Let me try it again. Well, of course, but I mean, if you're looking at the screen, I have no idea what you're looking at. Thank you. Did it work now? There we go. <laughs> yes. I was going to say, you're on this because you won best hat. <laughs> there she is. Which one? That's a beautiful hat. Right? Uh, standing up in the first picture, it's this gorgeous white and black wide brimmed hat. <laughs> A lot next, of fun. Next year, I'm going to do better at my ensemble. I showed up in all black. Shocking. To the to Kentucky Derby? Interesting. Yeah. No one wore, like, white or anything. I mean, it's kind of nasty. So. All right. So then we also got One Day University. Yep. So there's two scheduled for this week. We have May 16th, Alzheimer's disease, what we know and what we don't know. And on May 19th, it's going to be a culinary one, and it's called Eight Flavors, How They Change How We Eat. I might have to watch that Alzheimer's one. I think that's a... Uh, Don't forget. Uh, really? Wow. That's what we're doing today? Cheesy lines like that? You just set me up. I had okay. to do it. It was just... Uh, yeah, a couple of good, uh, good and very applicable... And the um, June calendar will be posted soon. I'll be selecting those this week. Nice. Very nice. All right. Like, what day? Because you can't get into anything if you don't do it. Well, the good news about One Day University is everyone can watch yes. it. I like the spiciness today. I can <laughs> fire it up. Well, I, I got on the day after you sent out the email last time, I couldn't get into half the class. Half the fitness. Oh, fitness. Oh. Well, good thing if Todd's expanding uh, yes. one of his classes, the um, one in base camp, which is cool. Mm -hmm. So um, we are experimenting with using two tides a little bit more for fitness classes. So that will get us into the 25 plus range. So um, we've got some cool stuff coming down. So. Yeah. And now that we are back open on Mondays, that opens a lot. We have two classes now, and um, Melissa's first day was this last Wednesday. I heard some great feedback. If anyone took the classes, I'd be happy to hear how it went. Um, but she's already... Monday. What? Monday. I think that's what I said. You said Wednesday. Oh, great. I meant Monday. Um, but she's very eager. She wants to do more classes. So that's always exciting. So room for growth. Um, quick update, Water Babes and Dudes will be meeting now on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday rather than Wednesday, Three Friday, and Sunday now that we are back open on Mondays. Three o'clock. Entire month of May, we're doing the kind of uh, cork donations. So a uh, really cool um, uh, company that's banded together to, to collect corks. And so if you look at our box, it's half full already. Somebody brought in a whole gigantic really like box. Uh, yeah, they definitely love their wine. Mm -hmm. uh, but some member brought in a giant box I of course that. the other day, which is awesome. Um, so, yeah, we're halfway full already, and we're right at halfway of the month. So we're Perfect. actually right on pace, which is great. So, Pop a cork and save a tree. Yep. And then another thing to just celebrate uh, Wine Week around here. Mm -hmm. Trilogy Wine Week. Rainier Cherry. So possible early July adventure. We're kind of curious to see if anybody would want, would be interested in doing like a you pick trip to Yakima to pick your own uh, Rainier cherries. We all know the, we'll be interested to see the price of the Rainier cherries this year, but they're usually a good six to $9 a pound. Right. And so when you go to the um, farms, um, they're usually sometimes in the three to $5 range a pound, which is kind of nice. So my family, we typically go every year um and uh it's you know it's a good two and a half hour drive but it's fun to go down to the uh uh i don't want to say vineyards but uh orcheries i guess and orchards and um orcheries is that a real word did orcheries. i just make that up on I the fly did. Yeah, yeah i just, I think you just we're creating words that. today um <laughs> orchards yeah. for those that are educated and really want to know what the real word is um orchards <laughs> Uh, anyways, it's kind of fun to go down there, picnic a little bit. Um, it's a beautiful drive. Do you guys it, take 410? Yeah, we take 410. You go straight Four shot to, down 410 up over um, the mountains. Uh, was that Shook Pass? Yep. And uh, come right down into the valley there. And um, there's usually two major farms. One farm is like pulling back on their you picking 
these days. Um, we used to, uh, Johnson Orchards. Um, they got a cute little market there, so my family and I still like to visit there and, you know, get the pies. or They mm-hmm. they do a lot of different fruit and vegetables, so we can pick up stuff there. And then um, the one to pick at is, I think, Thompson's, if I remember right. Or no, Barrett, sorry, Barrett, which is kind of up on the hillside. Um, and they have a, definitely a dedicated you pick area there, which is kind of fun. So I don't know. I'm obsessed with Rainier cherries. Jason and has a little bit of a problem. I should have, um, maybe if I got time after this, I'll pull up some pictures. But um, it, uh, I absolutely love them. And it's, but it's like a the you pick window is about two, sometimes three weeks long. And so it's usually right at the end of June. To like June, July 10th or something right around there. So I'm all just every day. My family we're just checking Facebook, checking Facebook, and then when they say we're open, we just make get it out there. Though. Yeah. So, anyways, it's obviously not cost effective, but it's fun. It's something to do. So I, I don't know. I didn't know if anybody else would want to do that. Figured we'd uh, throw that out there if anybody wanted a quick trip down there for the day. So how much shows do you get, Jason? I I think I could we could probably have at least a week notice is probably because we're off the pole together in an event. So and you said the first two weeks of July is typically is probably well. pretty pretty solid. Although it's been really cold this year, I know it's been a bit challenging, but um, I would anticipate that once we uh, once they start posting when, then we've got two to three weeks from that point. So usually, as soon as I know that they're open, I'll plan an event for those that are interested. And what I did is on the news post, I said to email me by June 1st, just so we could see if the demand is there and if people would want to go. Um, but if you, if we end up posting it and you had an expressed interest, you're still welcome to, to go. We just wanted to kind of get. And it may be something that's out. not even an event. It's just like, hey, my family and I will start here because we've got to pass here anyways. And people will just, uh, we will ebb and flow, depending on how many people want to come. I think it'd be kind of fun. Yes, Neil. How do you this one we would probably just drive it's a beautiful drive yeah individually just carpool down there so um it is a long drive it's a good two and a half hour drive down there maybe even three hours it's, it's just really the challenge is you're not going very fast down there yeah. to get through 410 it's like it's very, a lot curvy. Of, it's very curvy along the river the whole way down so you're really 45, maybe 50 miles an hour. Um, so but there is the Natchez a... Tavern on your way, oh, which right? is, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we, we always stop there. We Jeep, and so there's the Natchez Trail. And so every year we do a night run on the Natchez Trail, and then we always end up at the tavern. It's fun. Good times. Pick up lunch or something. If you wanted to, you totally could. Yeah, I'm all about it. Scavenger hunt. So um, on May 24th, this is just kind of a fun complimentary thing. We're gonna have some nature, uh, I spy kind of cards available at the concierge desk all day. So just a fun excuse to get outside, go explore. Um, if you have grandkids that you want to take out and do it with you or just go with your friends, we are surrounded by so much natural beauty at the lodge. Um, and so you've Well, thank you. That's the nicest thing you said about me. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You want to go with Ke- Cheesy today? I'm right That's there. That's it. <laughs> um, but we'll have the cards available at the concierge desk, so feel free to stop by and pick one up and go have some fun. Perfect. Oh, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. I have it either. I'm clicking too much. I was what's, wondering what you're what's doing. going on here. Okay, National Donut Day. Woo! I almost bought donuts this morning. I should have, but I was like, I don't know. That's worse than telling somebody. So then I've been eating coffee. <laughs> I've been eating those cookies all morning. Instead, oh yeah, so. those are good cookies. Yeah, they are. National Donut Day is Friday, June third. We will have complimentary donut holes and toppings available in the grand living room while supplies last. So please feel free to come on by and get some donut holes. We have some delicious um, chocolate sauces and different things that you can create your own masterpiece. So. Feel free to come on down, and the coffee station will also be set up so you can have coffee and donuts that day to help us celebrate. 
Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. This is a fun one. I this is a movie, for those that don't know. I've actually oh, okay. only seen this movie once. I'll admit it. Yeah, I've only seen the first one. <laughs> There's like 10 nowadays or something. I think, There's but. a bunch. Um, <laughs> There's another one coming out. But we are having a Jurassic Park event on site. We are working with the Reptile Zoo from Monroe. They are going to be bringing in 10 creatures for us to experience. Um, and also, I think it's important to learn Why about Why are they not slithering? Jason will be here. sick this day. He does not do snakes. Um, nope. However, um, I think it's important for us to learn about these creatures, learn about how to protect their environment. Um, so he will be here from five to six. And then uh, we have a delicious menu that is created for herbivores and carnivores alike. <laughs> Wait, I got another we, one. We are, you are going cheesy today. Are you ready? Oh my god! Make sure you get your ticket before they go in. Oh, oh my god! I put that on the on the post for the event, and I was just laughing at myself. I thought I was so clever. Uh, the menu is um, chicken drumettes. So the way that they work, they're really good. We used to do this at the stadium. Because they look like uh, baseball bats, too. And uh, so you peel the chicken, and then it creates this delicious drumstick situation. Big invertum. Yeah, invertum. That's the right word. I like your motion. Just like orcheries. <laughs> We're going to invert them. Um, so we have that, and then we will have um, a fruit display. We have fossil cookies. We have... Um, Dinosaur oh. green deviled eggs with avocado and wasabi, I believe. And there's one more thing, but it escapes me at the moment. So I apologize. And then we'll have festive cocktails available as well. Um, lots of good photo opportunities. And we may or may not have bought some inflatable dinosaur costumes. So <laughs> keep your eye out for wandering dinosaurs. Because Come I dressed in your safari gear. Yeah, it'll be fun. And it's thirty dollars. Uh, May sixteenth, which is Monday, our annual member survey. Um, and so, actually, what we're doing this year is we're actually doing two surveys. So, um, one of uh, kind of the suggestions uh, from the members was that we do the survey a little more frequently. So, we're actually going to do it uh, twice a year. Um, and so May 16th, we're going to have it. Um, uh, so starting on Monday, going for two weeks, three weeks. It goes through the 31st. It goes through the, the 31st, so, so 15 days. And um, we're going to have, obviously, you're going to see that everywhere in MTL, but we're also going to have a kiosk here that you can take the survey here. Um, you're going to see it. We're going to kind of really uh, uh, blast the information. Um, you're going to see it in the restaurant a lot. Uh, in fitness and, and just to make sure that people know about it. Last year, we only had uh, 130 members take the survey out of the 1,500 members we have. So uh, 1,500 trilogy members that we have. Mm -hmm. So uh, we would like to see and, and just get more participation just so we can make sure we get good feedback. Um, a lot of stuff comes out of the survey. So we want members to really take advantage of it, provide all their comments, both the positive and negative comments. Constructive. But constructively uh, offer it. But it is really good information. This helps drive the things that we do here at the club, whether it's more fitness classes or different types of activities. Offsite events is always a big one on there. That's why we really kicked it up to one or two a week, uh, month. Ooh, a week would be a lot like, to whoa, plan. Whoa, Holy Toledo. One or two a month we do nowadays. Um, you know, roast and toast and, and liquor license and uh, food expectations and the, you know, menus and gluten freeze and vegetarians and um, hours of operation and pickleball uh, court enhancements or um, anything really. I mean, it all comes and is centralized through that survey. So, um, so currently, if you think about it, the 130 people that are filling it out are the ones that we're listening to. and We want to listen to uh, more of you. So please uh, take advantage of that and, uh, and do it.
It'll come via email. It'll come. It'll be on the news post. It'll be on MTL. It'll be in every summit here. It'll be a kiosk with balloons here on an iPad that you can take it. The uh, restaurant and and uh, uh, fitness team will have QR codes that you can scan to use it and take take home to scan and use it. Um, yeah, it'll be everywhere. I'll put a sticker on everyone's front door. I don't know. Just <laughs> make sure to take it. I just want to, I just want, you know, like I said, I, I, the, it's great information. And I don't, I think people don't realize how much of that we really take advantage of. And, um, and, and especially nowadays where we've got the team in place to make the changes that, that members are asking for. And so to us, it's really important to get that feedback and get, you know, what you want to see and what you want to do. And so that we can continue to put in some focus for the team as uh, we're right now, we are using, the, we, I mean, we just did a meeting. Uh, I did a meeting with all the department heads in beginning of April. We're in May now. Yeah. Beginning of April. And we still use the survey as the uh, frontline main topic from October. So we reference it all the time. Um, so it is really important. So please make sure. To and there is a, a spot in there where you can highlight a team member. If there's somebody that you really feel like has either made a difference for you personally at the lodge or someone that you feel like just goes above and beyond. Um, it's a great opportunity for us to be able to share that positive feedback with our team as well. Um, especially coming out of COVID, we want to make sure that we're able to give positive feedback mm -hmm. and we all know we're working so hard to get things back to how we want it to be and so the more that we can share with them words from the members is very helpful um and it's a quick survey and like jason said we do print these out and we read every single comment sometimes my heart hurts a little bit but we do it and then we focus on it's the honest things. feedback it's right? honest feedback which is good but like i said constructive so that we can hear suggestions so that we can try and make the changes that membership and keep in mind it's about blue star it's about yes. the lodge operation That's it's about point. this team here the activities the events the fitness yes yeah, so those type of things way. not things that are my home related open. or my garage won't open yeah nothing that's shea homes related they dropped the grass clippings on my front porch yeah those are all things we can't help not, yeah exactly so um Cool. General manager update, which leads into me. So what do I got here? A survey, which we already talked about. Um, we did just install, not we, Robert and his team. I didn't do any of that. Uh, but Robert and his team um, installed a new pickleball uh, bulletin board up there uh, yesterday. So it was really nice to see that. Um, that was at the course. request. What does the pickleball bulletin board have on? Uh, nothing question. right now, just cork board. Not um, but it will have the monthly schedule on there. It will also have the pickleball court rules and regulations. It will also have, um, seems like there's a third piece of that, but I don't remember. I, I know for sure the schedule and kind of the expectation. I think maybe even the handicapping a little bit, scoring and stuff. Um, but uh, the pickleball club is kind of working on that, finalizing that information. So they had requested a bulletin board and got – you know, gave us an idea on one that was uh, very cost effective and uh, worked out really good. So we got that installed that really quick, which worked out well. So nice to have that. Thank you, Robert, for getting that in his team for getting that all. And even Chris, the concierge, helped dig the holes to get that, get that in there. Um, we will have, like we keep talking about, I still don't have a date yet, but we will be installing bark uh, on the property. Uh, probably in the next, I still think it's going to be three to four weeks, um, but uh, we will be doing that installation. So just be mindful of that. We'll make sure to post that information so that, because uh, it does tend to, uh, 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 I don't want to say pollute, but it does kind of interfer, in, uh, interfere with the um, air there for a little while as we kind of blow all that bark in. So. Um, Tuesday culinary table. We didn't really talk about that, but we have prime rib the next three weeks, which is really exciting. We got like 90 people coming on the next Tuesday, uh, in a couple of days, which is really awesome. So Tuesday night, uh, offering dinner, culinary table going really well. We're average 50 on the first two Tuesdays. And now 
uh, because it's prime rib. We're going to be probably 90 to 100 the next three Tuesdays, which is exciting. Dino's working on the menu for June. So probably looking at least Filipino will be on there, sounds like. Um, so excited to kind of offer a Tuesday night dinner. Um, happy hour, you know, we like to talk sometimes about current events or current challenges that we're facing. Or, um, we had uh, this past happy hour on Wednesday. I know that there was questions as it's getting more and more full, which is great. Um, that's what we want to see. Uh, so some questions have uh, arrived as, hey, can I make a reservation for the grand living room? Can I, you know, uh, you know, we want to sit in there every time. So the idea really is that grand living room is no reservations, which means it's first come, first serve. First group that gets there, gets at those, gets at the seat, gets the seat. So keep in mind that there's 30 to 50, 60 members that are going to pack into the grand living room during, you know, 4.30 and 6 o'clock. And so there's only 12 seats in there. So um, it's it's always going to be a bit of an imbalance. Um, we are going to find some other ways to maybe add some cocktail tables and such in there to kind of uh, open it up a little bit more. But, um, but there are just, like I said, 12 seats out of 50 people that are coming. So the rule really – really is first come for serve so if a group gets there first and grab seats then they're more welcome to um uh because for us it's hard for us to uh regulate and do the reservation system effectively in that room just because it is only 12 seats so um so that's why it's first come for serve so if somebody comes in at two o'clock and reserve sits there all the way till six great if somebody comes in at four o'clock or whatever and grabs them, then that works as well. So just be mindful of that. I know I've fielded a few phone calls about it and, and uh, I want to make sure that everyone's kind of on the same page because um, it is, it is important, but it's also, you know, be respectful is my, my uh, second part of that. I know there are some members that need to sit for physical reasons. And so please be mindful if there are 12, only 12 seats and you are feel comfortable to stand for a little bit to kind of share the seats as well. And, you know, maybe offer it up to someone that maybe has needs more of that seating capacity. But, um, but if you are coming to happy hour, my suggestion is really either be early or, you know, don't maybe not sit in there for a long period of time or not expect to be there for a long period of time, unless you're okay with sitting on the couches and such. I was also going to say happy hour does go <laughs> until eight. So if you want to come in a little bit later in the afternoon, it's not usually as busy in there. So we do have those happy hour prices until eight. Um, so I want to make sure I echo that. So you can come in for a little late afternoon bite. And if we ever get some beautiful sunshine, there are always beautiful sunsets right out that way over the McLeod's house. And so the later you come, the prettier the views, unless it looks like today. So, yep, and really exciting because we just came. Uh, we did a meeting yesterday about hey, because happy hour is so successful, what can we do for maybe some of the other nights? You know, try to use utilize the back patio a little bit more for events. So, um, cool stuff that you're going to see for the uh, summertime if it ever decides to stop raining and hailing geez it's like hail like every day i, I feel know, like for like three weeks or something so um yeah, right. uh, yeah it feels like we had i mean well, we've had... i heard it on the news coldest may 12th yep. in, in the history it's crazy. Wild. so crazy oh ready to be done with that i know i feel bad for <clears> my dog she hates the rain so every time it starts to rain hard she takes off and usually by this time of the year she can like lounge on the back porch and just be a little what a princess She's a sun pig. She's the biggest princess. And now that I have sun pig. Okay. a real, ch a human child, her world's been very altered. But, oh, sure. uh, yeah, poor thing. Uh, but I'm hoping the sun comes back out because... Someday. August. Can. It'll be back out in August. It will. For and like, then it'll be really hot. And then we'll say, remember the rain? Yeah. That was nice. I know. I'm not looking forward to that heat. Uh, last thing on my list is uh, Bike Club. I know that members have been asking about, when are we doing Bike Club? I got the calendar. It's done. So uh, we are good to go. So I finished it up this week. Um, we are going to do, we'll have this available starting tomorrow, uh, but the calendar will be be available up front at the concierge desk or right off to the side here. Uh, but we're still going to do the bike to lunch, bike to brunches, picnic bike rides. We're going to do the John Wayne trail. 
I am uh, not um, driving the U-Haul this year. I'm we're doing ice cream recording. rides. Nope, I already booked you for that. Uh, what's exciting is that our chef director, Dino Cruz, has volunteered. And if he denies it, then you tell him that's what I heard. And then, <laughs> but he is going to be helping out and uh, we'll be attending a lot of the events this year, which is really cool. So, um, uh, he will also, him and I will be sharing the roles on the Saturday ride. So we will start next Saturday. We will start with the Saturday bike rides at 930. And so those will be getting posted. Those will be getting posted. So we'll be doing those um, every Saturday starting next week. And uh, Dino and I, or we have a few members that like to lead the Saturday ride. So uh, we'll, we'll lean on them to help out as well. But we've got... Uh, no, 9.30. 9.30. So right 9:30. after the summit here. Yep, right after the summit here. And then, uh, so we'll go and do those rides again. Start, start that back up. So exciting to get that, you know, clean up the bike and make sure the brakes work. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for the John Wayne trail. Mm. That was, yeah, I got to make sure all that stuff's working. So, but really fun. We got a donut ride, an ice cream ride, lunch, a bunch of lunches, uh, dinners, barbecue, um, fun a lot of them just same events that we've done every year but different dates a little bit different twists none of the long distance rides um so if, because it's me and <laughs> i know i'm not like valerie and um but if anyone wants to volunteer to help i can help plan those more than welcome to and, we can and if anybody them. else wants to kind of lead those there's definitely that option um but yeah most of the rides are under uh, 15 miles. Is yeah, I did from, notice that round the difficulty trip. was only one mountain on all yeah. this year. Yeah, that's what Dino said. He said, there's only one mountain on all of these. And I said, yeah, because I'm doing it. So it's got to be easy. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not an expert at all. So um, they're all flat paved trails. Should be fun. So excited to do, get back into it. So I could use the exercise. Let's put it that way. <laughs> So, and get you out of this building every once in a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's hard as the workaholic. So, uh, so anyways, other than that, that's everything I got on my list. Um, and like I said, everything's been really fun. We've got meet the manager today. A uh, lot of private events coming in. A lot of members that are, you know, birthday parties that they wanted to celebrate back in the past. And so I've uh, been excited to, to field all those uh, phone calls and help out in any way the club can. Um, the team's doing really, really good. We're excited. We're, we're adding more pieces and more pieces uh, each week. So um, it's been really exciting to see that. Um, yeah, it's, we're, we're heading in the right direction. I'm mm -hmm. excited. Summer's going to be it's going to be really cool. Yeah. Really cool. Open Mondays again. I didn't put that on my list, but being, this past Monday was perfect. Between, uh, for most of the morning, it was a busy Monday morning. So we're open on Mondays now. 6 yep. a.m. to 7 p.m. Yep. 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. The mantle's not open on Mondays, but the gym's open, golf simulator, pool. Just come hang out, have a cup of coffee in the morning. Yeah, it's awesome. Good. Coffee's yeah. available every day now, which is nice. So, um, no, it's really good. We're excited. Really excited. Any questions from either the virtual interweb or the <coughs> live studio audience? Questions or thoughts? No questions, no thoughts. Well, we got a minute. I do have pictures of kind of like the vineyard stuff I was going to show. So, Holy Toledo, you look like a child. Look how young I am. Oh, that was God. just last year. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm missing three kids. Three kids. <laughs> but I mean, like this is one. Look at that one little branch. Look at all the cherries you can get on on one little branch. So, um, you know, you get a nice little little bucket, and and uh, you know, you get to fill up your bucket full of cherries and weigh it and be done. So, um, always. Uh, and Rainier cherries are so pretty. So delicious. Yeah, like I said, we would. Uh, they got a cute little, this is the market. I think I don't have small Alex's. Oh, I know. My kids are so tiny here. That, that, that girl in that photo is 15 years old now. So 
but even on the even on the pictures of the drive i mean we obviously went on a nice day but you know just taking the drive it's, it's a beautiful it's drive um through the mountain range uh When's driving wild past season? august um I, I don't know actually but uh anyways a lot of fun um and uh, uh so anyways if people want to do that let me know any other questions no all right folks thank you all very much have a good weekend Thanks for